Okay, I want to take a minute here and show you how to do a blog post. You'll log into your website and you'll find over here on the side where it says post. You click on that and it'll pull up this window. You can click here on add new or here on add new, but we're going to add a new post. And what you'll want to do for the title is you want your keywords the furthest left that they can be. So, for example, I want to have IDX Brokers my keywords. Uh, IDX Broker webinar. Uh, let's see what is a, what is a good title here. I guess I should buy that before I started. But IDX webinar. Gifts Talks to your ATV.com. Okay, and then I come down here to the bottom. That could be a lot better, but you can see it sets up my link there. So I'm actually going to stick an image in here to start out with. And I believe I uploaded this image last time. If not, you can upload a file from your computer right here. Let me go to the media library, see if I have something. And I do. So I'll push show. And I'm going to leave this with no alignment. You can put it left or whatever. So I'm going to use that as my featured image. It's titled IDX Broker Webinar Platinum. And I need some other stuff. So I'm going to insert that into the post. This just a bit bigger here. There we go. And then I'll just start typing up some information. For example, IDX Broker Server Webinar. Two days ago. And we excited to see a couple of our sites that we did IDX Broker Platinum Customizations search engine optimization in Google Juice they were willing because of the way we integrated IDX broker to their WordPress real estate website okay so a couple things here. One is in the title, you want to use your keywords. You want to repeat your keywords down here. You don't want to make them burdensome or that it's over the top. But um, you can see here I used IDX Broker, IDX Broker, IDX Broker. You want to use your keywords in the first sentence of the paragraph. You want your paragraphs to be about one or two or three lines long. And then what we'll need to do is go back in here mark that and link it back to other content on our website. There's a page right there, so I'll link it to that. Oh, I don't like the way that was. That was actually too short. I want this IDX Broker Platinum customization, so I'll remove that because I thought I did that wrong. We'll do that and uh, you know, they integrated IDX broker so this might be kind of annoying there but we're gonna take it anyway 
and I'll link it to that page right there. And basically we keep putting some more content in, but I want to show you this. I have some categories set up, so we want to, this is in my blog, it's about IDX Broker. Uh, not really a news release. We're probably not going to get into Agent Press. Uh, I don't know, WordPress for real estate, maybe. So one of the tags, I don't, I don't know if I've used this before, but I'm going to use the tag webinar. Looks like I haven't. And then I'll do um, customizations for IDX Broker. And then I'll choose from the most used tags. So you kind of see this, I'm going to have to have Eat My Own Dog Food on there because it's part of my Eat My Own Dog Food thing. Um, I'm going to put IDX Broker Platinum. There's two spellings of that. Um, I don't know. We WordPress for Realtors. Oops. Okay. Just kind of. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if I need to upload something from my computer, I can do it with this. I can change this content around doing different things here. But basically, that's what I want to do. I want to upload um, some text here, type it in, upload my image. When I'm done, I can either save it as a draft, which is what I probably should do in this case, or I can publish it when it goes live on my website. You can also, you can also set it to publish for example, if I want to do this, I'm going to be out of town maybe September 26th. I want to hit it at a certain time at 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I can do that, and it's scheduled for that time. So if I push the schedule button, then this is going to be published on my website at 2 a.m. And so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, contact me right here below the video at realtycandy.com, and we'll be happy to help you out.